we can actually start off with some uh, preliminary slides before I go into talking about uh, today's announcements, which will explain all the steps that we've taken in the recent past to make sure that investment come into this country and also make India a far, far more business-friendly destination. Before I go into that, it is important for us to recall that steps which have been taken earlier have been announced variously at different times. And uh, because of the lockdown and because of COVID, I think time feels like as though it's been a long time since the budget was presented. It was only presented on 1st February. And just as soon as the finance bill got passed, the parliament also had to uh, very quickly close for the reasons of social distancing and so on. And just before February, we announced the National Infrastructure Investment Foundation, the, the fund that was launched. So, and uh, therefore such steps have been uh, taken. Uh, clearly, these are the ones which are going to initiate a lot of things that we want to tell today and also a lot of things that we want to do towards building an Atma Nirbhar Bharat. So if we can go to the first slide. The policy reforms uh, to fa fast track investments. In the last couple of months, an empowered group of uh, secretaries has been formed who also looked at project development and project development cells were formed in various ministries. Ranking of states on investment attractiveness is also being uh, worked out. This will make them compete for new investments and promotion of champion sectors such as the solar, PV manufacturing and so on, the advanced cell battery storage research, these kind of activities are also being given a priority. So for an Atma Nirbhar Bharat and for Make in India, such steps are crucial and we want to make sure that efforts which have been taken clearly give us the confidence that Make in India, which was launched at least three years back, as an initiative to change the mindset of people, to bring in new ways of doing business, to make sure that India becomes attractive, on its strength, are all being received very well. So today, if I look at Make in India for Atmanirbhar Bharat, the foundation was uh, laid earlier, and many investors have found that India's market, size of India's market, the aspirational middle class, the rule of law which prevails and also making sure the talent pool which exists in India makes India an attractive destination for producing for India and also for producing in India and exporting from India. So that is exactly what has been shown here and uh, uh, incentive schemes are being given for these champion sectors. So we need to uh, clearly understand the purpose with which when we talk of Atma Nirbhar Bharat, it is uh, on all these steps building India's strengths. The next slide would show you that attempts and also efforts have already started for upgradation of industrial infrastructure. I'm saying all this because the reform steps that I'm going to announce will have all these also uh, having a play in the various steps that we are announcing. Upgradation of in industrial infrastructure is something which we need to talk about afresh, although industrial infrastructure, um, industrial land, land banks, and also clusters have been recognized long time back. But they're all somewhat being utilized, many of them lying unutilized. So now using technology, we are making sure these uh, uh, land parcels are through GPS, GIS mapping, are able to be identified, location cleared, their challenges being identified, common facilities which have to be created will all be um, done. 3,376 industrial parks and estates and SEZs have between them, have among them 
5 lakh hectares all of them mapped as industrial information system can map them for future use so this will be uh, a part of the portal which will be running so that it will be available for any future potential investor to say i know land exists there we can go set up a business there in the meanwhile the state government working to this with the center is going to provide all the common facilities so all industrial parks parks also will get ranked by 2020 21 so that we know what is the level of readiness that they have and how ready they are for competition so with this said as a broad introductory statement i just want to highlight the eight sectors about which we are going to talk where reforms are being brought in coal minerals defense production i read out separately the next three although they together contribute for um flying airports and also aerospace related matters air space management airports mro which is maintenance repair and overhaul so those three all go over to the civil aviation area distribution companies in the union territories power distribution companies in the union territories space space sector where isro and others have been uh, flag bearers for india atomic energy so eight sectors but i will be showing you about 10 to 12 slides all of them explaining each one of these sectors in detail